Astrolog Pro Series. Something, something, something. Pain in my ass. Not gonna be able to sleep till I get the damn thing open. Kind of lock. I've had it open once before, as I think you probably saw it earlier in this video. And I was hoping it would just fly open again. I'll get it in one take and go edit the video, send it out, go to bed, but no. No, no, no. It had to be difficult. substantial false set. Ah, there it is. Ah, that was a better time. There we go. One minute, 30, 20 seconds, something like that. All right, it means I have time to gut it. Zoom out, pull it down. You can see all the oil and so forth from previous, uh, previous takes here. Let's put this there. Focus. Boy, it's unhappy, isn't it? Well, I'm afraid that's going to be as good as it gets, anyhow. Oh, good. Keep retaining. So, what we have down inside here is an Allen screw. And just based on the previous master lock we were working with, I'm going to guess that it's this one. So I finished gutting this poor little master lock, uh, which I have a little sympathy for now that I've almost dropped everything on the floor and so forth. But here we have the pins. Um, and as we suspected, there were spools. In fact, there were five spools, five of five for spools, which explains why it was so floppy in there. And basically we were starting in a false set. Ironically, Bill just talked about that in one of his videos. So, Bill, Bosnian Bill, if you watch his stuff, which you should, because it's really good. So, um, all the spools seem to be roughly the same size. Key pins are what they are. We've got our uh, plug and uh, the uh, shell. And an interesting feature is that the way that they keep the plug from focus, thank you. The way that they keep the plug from falling out, so normally it's like this. You can see that's pretty firm. Um, so normally you, to unlock it, you would rotate it like about there, right? You know, if you come around there, nothing happens. But right at about, oops, I'm going the wrong way, sorry. Here, so to unlock it, you'd go this way. So we're doing a scene where the plug falls out, come to vertical, nothing, but when you get to about there, it actually does come out. And so what they've done, I don't know how well that's going to be visible in the video, but if you look, actually you can see it better in that orientation. That's pretty good. If you look right here, the master machinists at Master Lock flattened this out, probably with some type of pressing device or something, such that when the cylinder is in this, plug is in this position, the bottom of the keyway is able to pass that little bump, and then when it turns, 
locks the plug in, leaving quite a lot of flippity floppiness. Hear how jiggly that is? So, I think the plug was, when we were picking it, I think it was flopping around a good bit just inside the lock, but then even within the, even within the, uh, the core here, or the shell, it's just a ton of play because, you know, they didn't bother to put a circlip or tanning pin or anything on there, so that's that. So five spools, five drivers, that's a pretty good lock, actually. Um, uh, that took, the first time I picked this, it didn't take that long. When I tried to pick it for this video, it was probably take six. Um, it's pretty heavy, pretty substantial. It has clearly been out in the weather. It um, has loosened up a bit since I've been playing with it, but it's definitely, uh, it's definitely done its duty. You can see some a little bit of rust down inside there. Um, there's the actuator. And if you'll notice, it is a quarter of a circle. Oh, there, that's as good as it gets. It's a quarter of a circle. Back of the plug is a half a circle, which means that um, this almost certainly can be bypassed and there's nothing in there to stop you. So, um, I think this was probably made pre-American lock and they still, pre-pre-acquisition American lock, and they still had built in a non-vulnerability, that thing. So that's pretty impressive. The only thing I like on this versus American locks, I like this little slot. That's where the Bible goes. So when you're putting the lock back together, you don't have to try to remember which way this thing goes in and it flops around, you can't get the key in, all this kind of crap. It just goes in between this whole, this, these, this slot and the laminations. So that's kind of neat. But anyway, Master Lock Pro Series 6127. Um, it says right here on the plastic molding, that, that which of it is still there. Um, it says made in the USA, so plus one for that. Boron shackle, looks like about a half inch, um, pretty substantial. Um, of the master locks I've had, that's probably the only one I would use to lock up something that I gave a shit about. So, out of all that junk I got on eBay, and let's see if we can remember where we put the junk. Out of all this crap, remember this bag from earlier. Got all this junk. We had this, we had these, we had this master lock, we have these American wafer locks that are all covered in WD-40. Of all of those, this might, might, if it had come with a key, definitely would have, but might have been worth the price. But now I've got it taken apart, I can key it up and um, maybe use it for something. God help me. Boron shackle and everything. So, there we go. Master Lock Pro Series. SPP'd, gutted, humiliated, demolished, whatever. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Um, please subscribe to my channel uh, if you haven't already. If you like my videos. And as always, have fun and keep it legal. Bye bye.